Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Liz Kedantis. And I'm Jim Grimes. Thanks for staying up with us. A mystery unfolding over in West Palm Beach tonight after an old car containing possible human remains was recovered from a murky lake. The vehicle was located just west of I-95 and 45th Street near the Cracker Barrel restaurant. A volunteer diver was the one who found the car and called the police to investigate. CBS 12's Amber Robb spoke to that man, to that diver, in an exclusive interview and joins us with what he saw. Amber. This is the lake where a diver spent all day Friday searching for a man who's been missing since the late 70s. This diver didn't find what he was looking for, but he found something. A diver searching for answers. Dave Yurkovich recently started looking for a 20 year old West Palm Beach man who went missing in 1979. His name was Michael John Olson. He was a young man. He'd been out one night. He left the uh, home or the bar at that point, drove off, and he was never seen again. Yurkovich went to this lake near I 95 and 45th Street because he thought it could be a lead in finding the young man who disappeared all those years ago. And he did find something. We identified a vehicle about 30 foot offshore, so um, the, the parameters of the vehicle actually fit the parameters of his. So we were absolutely elated thinking, wow, we just came across Michael John Olson. But once they dove down to the car, which was 30 to 40 feet from the shore, they quickly realized it wasn't Olson's because it was a model from the late 1980s. And West Palm Beach police say, it was in bad shape. The car has been embedded uh, in this lake uh, in about 12 and a half feet of water for likely decades. So there's a lot of silt, a lot of debris, a lot of corrosion that we're dealing with. Uh, uh, much of the car has disintegrated. Yurkovich was looking for any identifiers of who the car belonged to. Visibility was almost zero down there. And I felt around, one thing I found in particular, you know, it felt different. I thought, boy, well, yeah. You know, without being able to see it, I want to go ahead and take it topside. That thing was a piece of what appears to be bone. The medical examiner's office is going to have an anthropologist look at the uh, two small pieces that were found by these volunteer divers to uh, determine whether or not they're human. We have not been able to confirm that at this point. And while they wait on the anthropologist, police pulled the car out of the water Saturday to investigate further. But with the state of corrosion, it'll take longer to identify the car's owner. But they are investigating this as a missing persons case. We basically are starting from the present and working several decades back. So we'll be looking at cases not only that the West Palm Beach Police Department has, but other cases too. According to police, they'll be able to investigate further once the car dries out. But Jackal says it's very likely, based on the landscape of the area back then, that the person driving this car could have veered off 95 and into the waterway. We'll keep you updated as we learn more from investigators. Reporting in West Palm Beach, I'm Amber Robb, CBS 12 News.